Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn uh, how to select data from table by using Kusto. We will select all columns and sometimes we don't need to see all the columns from table. So we want to see that how we can uh, choose uh, some of the columns uh, by using Kusto query. Sometimes we have to drive the uh, use the drive column such as like uh, get date and all that and we would like to give some name to it. Uh, sometimes we have to add a couple of columns uh, and such as first name and last name and then to create a full name and column. Uh, so we we will learn those as well. Uh, we will learn how, how, to, how to order the data and then we will also learn uh, how to select top records and uh, learn uh, how to uh, return a few of the records. Uh, so we don't want to return hundreds of records, maybe just five for sampling and all that. Uh, so we will learn all those uh, different uh, techniques. Um, Let's go to the Azure Data Explorer uh, cluster and here I'm connected to Tech Brothers DB. Now, first of all, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create this table called the total sale. So you have the definition. We have already spoken about this a lot in previous videos and uh, I will put this in description so you can take a look. Here I'm ingesting some data. So let's go ahead and ingest the data to the total sale. And now our data is there and we can start working with the uh, selecting the data. To select everything from a table, uh, uh, that's very easy. In a SQL or Oracle and MariaDB and all that, we always have to say select asterisk from table name. In Kusto, you don't have to say select asterisk from table name. You will simply put the table name and that's it. Once you put the table name and run the command, it will give you, get you all the records from that table. That's very easy. So, but uh, this is also, I will suggest you not to use that because if there are hundreds and thousands of records, uh, you don't want to select everything. You might want to uh, see what exactly you need. That leads us uh, to the second option. Um, let's say I have hundreds of columns in, in a database table and I would like to select few of them. How I will uh, just uh, choose a few of them? In the Kusto, what you will do, you will say table name, then you will use a pipe sign and then you will say project. Project will give you the option to select the columns that you would like to display. In my case, I am displaying ID, salesperson first name, last name, product name, item sold, item price, sold date, city, state, country and region. So I am pretty much selecting all the columns. So let's take a look here. Now see, it is returning me all the columns. Now let's uh, delete few of them uh, because uh, I don't care which city, uh, sorry, state, country, and region uh, this customer belong to, so or salesman. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and execute this, uh, and now it is returning me only the columns I have here. If I want only two columns, I can also select something like that. So even uh, the other columns are still there. I just uh, highlighted the area of this uh, command and executed. Now it is returning me ID and salesperson first name. Now that to give us a good choices to start with everything and then uh, select the columns what we need. Now if uh, we want to have something like uh, sometime we want to use the drive column name. So in this case let's say I, I want to select a, uh, from the total sale table project customer ID equal to ID. See right here, I'm given a new name to the ID and same way I'm given a F name, say F to the salesperson F name. I can call it first name to make it more readable and uh, that's how you will give the new name to the existing uh, the column name. This is just to see the data, this is not changing on the back end um, to the table or anything like that. So right here. So it's like alias. In a SQL we say uh, first name as. So in this case you will be providing the name you would like to display right here customer ID and this is actual column name. Okay. Now if we would like to concatenate uh, two columns. Uh, so what we can do full name equal to and uh, as to your cat uh, that's a string uh, concatenation. Uh, sale person first name comma then I have given some space and then a comma and the, I have added the second column. You can add other columns after the comma if you like. But in my case, uh, there are only two columns I would like to display. So I'm concatenating two string columns here. And uh, I am creating a full name out of a first name and the last name. If I would like to, uh, let's say, display first name and last name as well. So I will do something like this. And then uh, I will do second column right there, just paste it there, 
and then I will have my derived column that's full name equal to concatenation uh, and then uh, put the column names uh, so let's execute this as well okay so now it is returning a salesperson first name salesperson last name and full name that's a derived column depending upon these two columns uh. now if we would like to add a constant value for a column uh, often we have that uh, such as if I'm returning this data to for, from the prod and uh, database tech browser DB or maybe some QA database uh, and I would like to add some columns in my uh, prod environment or my uh, QA environment and all that I have to write some uh, constant values um. so here total sale that is our table pipe sign project uh, that means that uh, we are selecting the columns so we would don't want everything right so salesperson first name is actual name come in then comma and this is my drive column I call it is equal to test um. so in this case uh, I will say I will give up my environment name you know because often we want to provide the name of the environment to our uh, users uh, they want to see the data from where this uh, data is coming uh. so in this case I will say this is coming from production okay and in production maybe one or something right then you have region uh, that I put it equal to six uh. so maybe it's a it's a hard code value that uh, our uh, company understand the code uh. then I would like to say current uh, date is equal to now that's a function that's gonna uh, add a current date to it um, so this is how you will add a different uh, constant columns um, so in this case uh, we have a salesperson first name that's coming from table our environment name is hard coded right there and the uh, region ID is equal to six that's hard coded and then the uh, date time is coming from the this function now this is how you will add uh, new columns uh, in your query when you want to return some nice report to, to your users uh, okay let's go to the next one where we say top and rows so in my case my total rows are very few there are 13 rows but think about that if your table has a hundred million records you don't want to run a select star from the table right so maybe you want just want to take some sample you can always say take five that's one way to do it and now it will return us only five records now what we can do this is not the always the idea you want maybe you want the latest uh, five records by ID or maybe by date or time or something uh, that uh, you can use with the order by clause uh, so here I'm saying give me top five records uh, order by my ID ascending and limit five um, so take five or uh, limit five pretty much works the same so no big deal you can use any and now it is returning me for uh, the top five records and where ID is ascending one to five and that's how I am returning five records um, so I hope uh, this uh, video help you to select the data from your Kustro tables and uh, learn a few extra things uh, and tips from them from uh, me I appreciate your time with me please go ahead and subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in next video